Welcome back to another video, guys. Before we continue on with our creamy Tuscan chicken pasta, I want to ask you guys to please make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share if you think someone else would like this. We're going to be making this creamy Tuscan chicken pasta. It's creamy, it's chickeny, it's savory, sun-dried tomatoes, the whole shebang. It's going to be amazing. Let's get into it. We're going to start off on a medium-high heat. So we're going to put our pan. We're going to start it with some olive oil. And I'm going to add the oil that's inside the jar of the sun-dried tomatoes. This is optional, but this is totally gonna add so much more flavor to the meat we're gonna be using today. And I'm gonna be using chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast. If you like flavor, go with chicken thighs. I highly recommend it. If you don't like to eat meat, you can certainly use shrimp. That would be delicious as well. We're gonna make sure we put our meat in a nice uniform layer on the bottom of the pan so it gets nice and crispy on each side. We don't want it to steam. Listen to your chicken, it's gonna tell you when it's ready to flip. If you're flipping it before it's ready, it's gonna get stuck to the pan. But sometimes it's inevitable. It will get stuck, it's okay, don't panic. The silver line is gonna be that all that stuff that's stuck on the bottom of the pan is gonna turn into a nice little flavor bomb for the rest of our pasta, you're gonna see. See, I have the same problem too. Sometimes my chicken just gets stuck, even when I think it's ready to be flipped and I know it's cooked, it still gets stuck, so it happens to the best of us. So once that's done, I'm gonna take it out, set it aside while I start layering some more flavor. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a pat of butter, a nice hunk of butter. Kerrygold is amazing. I would highly recommend that butter for this dish. I'm gonna go in and add some scallions. Not scallions, what are these called? Shallots, we're gonna add shallots. I'm also gonna add in some garlic cubes that I had frozen in the freezer. Amazing, if you don't use that hack, please try it. Freeze your pureed garlic. It's so much easier than having to chop fresh garlic. Don't get me wrong, fresh garlic is amazing in a lot of recipes, but sometimes in a pinch, pureed garlic that's been frozen works just as good. So while that's sauteing down or sweating, whatever you wanna call it, I'm gonna put my pasta in the water that I have boiling. And I'm using this shape of pasta, which is super fun, super cute, and it's really hearty. For this recipe, I only used half a box, I think, and it was enough for two days for quite a few people. Believe it or not, it went a long way. So once that's sweat down, I'm gonna add my jar of sun-dried tomatoes. You saw the brand that I used, Centeno, I believe it's called. So we're just gonna go ahead and let those sun-dried tomatoes get nice and caramelized in the nice flavored oil nice and seasoned we're gonna add some italian seasoning we're gonna add some dried basil you guys know dried basil and fresh basil two completely different flavors both delicious so i will be using dried basil and fresh basil sweat it down not sweat it down caramelize it oh my god sweating it down and caramelizing two different things we're going to be caramelizing those sun-dried tomatoes we're going to add about 75 pounds of spinach literally 75 pounds <laughs> just joking you know when you're messing around with spinach you can cook five tons and you'll end up with only three leaves so you know how spinach operates we're going to go ahead and put in a lot of spinach and we're going to end up with this much We're gonna go in with some tomato paste. I love this little tomato paste in a tube. Muti is the brand. Muti, correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong in the comments. Let me know how I butchered it. We're gonna put about that much and we're also gonna stir that in and let that caramelize, get a nice rusty color. That's just gonna further develop the flavors and add a little bit of flour to tighten up our sauce once we add the cream. So we're just gonna cook that flour for about maybe three minutes, get all the raw flavor out of the flour. Next up, we'll be adding some heavy whipping cream. I just adore this ingredient. Anything with cream in it, anything creamy, hello, I'm here for it, take my money, I want it. So I'm gonna be using about two to three cups, I'm not quite sure, just eyeball it. And I'm also gonna be adding in some fresh basil for that nice fresh flavor. So remember, you're gonna be cooking this down for about maybe 10 minutes. You want it to reduce by about half, a quarter to half of what you had. And I'm gonna be adding in some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano, freshly grated. Oh, you guys know I love cheese. So I'm gonna be doing that to tighten up the sauce a little bit more. You see it's nice and thick now. This would be a good uh, sauce just to put chicken in. You don't even need the pasta. You can put this over maybe mashed potatoes, some cucumbers, 
quinoa. I mean, I don't know, girl. Pasta. Pasta, pasta works best for me. But, you know, people out there would probably prefer to put this over just vegetables. Do your thing. Let your freak flag fly. But the sauce is so good. You can probably eat it like a soup, too. So I'm going to go in and add my al dente pasta. Make sure you cook your pasta al dente. Usually one minute shorter than what the box recommends for al dente. Since you're going to be al dente. Did I really say al dente? <laughs> al dente. Make sure you're, you know, you're not overcooking it. You're going to continue to cook this in the pasta sauce. Add in some more Parmesan. Hello. That's not going to be the last time you see me add Parmesan. You know I love cheese. What'd I say? Didn't I say I was going to be adding more cheese? Look at that. We're going to add pearls of mozzarella. Wow. You already know what's going to happen. It's going to get nice and hot. And then we pick it up. Those little pockets of cheese. Oh, you already know. I don't even have to describe it. You can just already taste it oh and look at that more cheese who would have predicted did, did you know i was gonna do that i didn't even know i was gonna do that more cheese more cheese more cheese makes me so happy i'm not gonna torture you with my singing today so let's just get into this pasta look at that beauty of course we gotta top it off with more greenery and make her look beautiful hello pasta you look gorgeous beautiful look at that let's get into it let's dig in there mm, you gotta make sure you get that little mozzarella ball well, that's all she wrote, guys. That's the end of this video. I'm going to leave you with this little footage of what my plate looks like. A little small portion of your girl's trying to get her figure right. No, uh, I'm just joking. I'm not, you know, too much pasta in my future. A lot of rice and beans, which I will be sharing more Puerto Rican recipes with you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're almost at a thousand. When we reach a thousand, I don't know what we're going to do, but it's going to be something big. Until the next one, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys.